the kind of beat to go Hey guys, what's up? It's Joey and today we're here for some world domination and yeah, I got a weird target fedora on just because I like random hats. It's just what I'm about. So before we get to this video, I just want to let you guys know about something. Um, My term is coming to an end. I've got exams coming up. So if I don't get a video out every day, which I haven't the last couple days, sadly, but exams are coming up. Got lots of schoolwork blowing in. So probably here and next week, I'm going to have exams. They start Friday, not this Friday, but the next Friday. And a lot of teachers are just cramming and lots of work. So I've got exams until then. So I'm going to try to get as many videos out as I can. I'm going to try my best for you guys. But, you know, I'm just going to try my best because I guess to study first. But we got a video today here. And it's time to record. So what we're going to be doing is the guild. Some people need some BA guild raid so they can move on in the objective. So we are going to help them out. So I'm going to get go ahead and start that. Buenos Aires. What we got here. How long is this guild raid? Let's start it. So we have 24 hours to get to tier 2. All right, I think we can do it. Oh yeah, another thing. Um, giveaway part 2. Check out the Twitter. That's where you'll be able to find out what's going on. So check out my Twitter. Link is in the description. Or my channel page. Or it's at WZN Nation. Like WZ Nation underscore. You'll find it, but uh, yeah, all information on that's going there, but let's go ahead and fight. Wait, I got to fix my team. Just kidding. I would get destroyed. Hold up. Hold, hold, hold up. Let me, so let me collect these. Take out all my guys because I put in all my higher level troops so I can get the maximum amount of cans. I'm just going to throw in this guy right there. Let's get out. Take out all my people. Come back to me. All right. Let's get another person in there just so we can collect while we are away. I'm not going to research anything. I'm going to go ahead and complete this training real quick. Just because higher levels are always better. I mean, I think they are. Higher level troops, what is going on? Get that scatter shot back. Right now I'm working on getting my scatter shot and my lumberjack up to level 20. Because that's always helpful, you know. Get to the next perk. So, let's switch out my team members. I'm definitely going to get in my machine gunner. Commando, I don't want that commando, I don't want that commando. That mercenary is going to be swapped for that mercenary. Uh, let's put in Destructor, because Destructor is always a beast. Sharpshooter for that sharpshooter, or Sniper for that sharpshooter, whatever it was. Let's swap out you for, hmm, Fire Chief. Oh yeah, another thing I'm going to be working on is I'm going to work on getting my Contractor upgraded a lot once I finish off the Scattershot and Lumberjack, but that is a work in progress. And for the last person, let's throw in this new level, level 15 Lumberjack. Why not? Let's go ahead and fight on BA. I'm going to go comment this real quick. BA started. Just got to throw out that. Probably misspelled here, but we're going to use spell check. And exclamation point. Got to get hyped. All right. Buenos Aires fight hard. I don't know why, but it won't let me. I think that's a bug, but whatever. Three minutes in, we haven't even attacked yet. What is going on? Oh my gosh. We need to get with it. Gotta get more attacking in. Alrighty here. So, I remember the last time when I was attacking Buenos Aires, I had a very strict, like, attack, plan of attack. And right here, okay, I actually kind of like this one because it kind of leaves everything to this one pad. And I'm actually going to leave it up to this pad, actually. So I'm going to be in the double machine gunner here. Let's put out some level 13 sharpshooters. And just in case they like to get too close and personal, let's throw out a commando. Why not? Okay, so we're going to start this wave and we're going to let everybody funnel in right here. I like this map a lot just because it lets, lets everybody come right through this one path. All three of these spawn points are beginning going to be coming right to that area right there. So that's why I really like this one spawn point. Let me go ahead and send these guys. Try to get a better time bonus. These guys over here need to get with it. They didn't get through that wall. All right. So as you can see, everyone's funneling in right here. And once those machine guns get warmed up, it's pretty much game over. So let's go ahead and send these waves. So are my machine gunners doing anything? There we go. See, once they get rolled up, warmed up, it's game over. Okay, these guys are just about to get to that wall, finally. 
Goodness gracious, that took forever. Need them to get through there as fast as possible. Get that time bonus. So, what is going on over here? I'm going to go ahead and throw a Mazda cocktail right over there. Hopefully, we can catch as many drones as possible. Ah, we missed one. Hey, it's all good. It's all good. All right, powering through this last little area. I'm going to go ahead and use this flare to delay a little bit. Try to get them in the area for the machine gunner to take them out. Got about a minute left. I don't know if we're going to get the best time bonus, but we are going to win. So, you know, it's all right. All right, how much time bonus we get? 62. That is not good. I cannot accept that. That's unacceptable. All right, so, so far, so good. We got 602. Bang, bang. Let's keep going. Let's keep powering through. Hopefully we can get a bunch of people in the guild rolling here, and we can just keep powering through. So let's go ahead and fight. I like my squad. Let's go back on hard, because hard gets me more points. Let's just keep powering through. Hopefully we're going to get a different map going here. See how it looks. Different little loadout here. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, so right here, I'm actually going to be using a my crowding method in a way but a kind of a variated method we're just gonna be don't crash on me okay we're gonna be throwing all the rest of my lumberjacks over here and that way we're gonna have that melee damage going up front taking some damage for us and the commandos and mercenaries are just gonna chill in the back just do work so that's gonna be actually a pretty solid good well defended area right there okay over here we're gonna try to get some total lockdown d we're gonna put a guy there three mercs and a sharpshooter I think we're gonna be pretty set. We're gonna be set over there. Okay, over here, let's get everybody crowded in right here. We're gonna be putting five fire chiefs right here. They're just gonna be taking damage for us while the machine gunner chills out in the back. Yeah, that's the plan. I like that. It's a good plan. Let's put throw in a sharpshooter back there just in case. So let's go break this down. Over here, I'm using a lot of melee just to take damage, and I'm using a little bit lighter firepower in the back, but the machine gunner and that, once that machine gunner, it, those melee guys are going to give them time for the machine gunner to warm up. Once he warms up, it's game over from that pad. But I really, what I actually, okay, let's go, I'll talk in a second. Uh, mercenaries are going to be just taking damage. Uh, they do really what, great damage. Mine are level 21, I think, and they do great against like a lot of these troops. They can just take them out easily, so they'll be able to handle themselves. Sharpshooter to take out big guys and once the machine gun get, gets warmed up game over like I said before and over here Like I said earlier lumberjacks are gonna take damage and the rest of these guys are gonna go to work So let's start these waves and get going. All right. What was I trying to say before? Uh, what I'm wanting to do for my personal game is I want to work on not using the machine gunner as much because when, when I rely on the machine gunner so much it can be detrimental for the rest of my team because Yes, the machine gunners what people call OP or overpowered and just ridiculously amazing so it can be difficult because you'll rely on it so much. And if it goes down, you're kind of stuck. What are you going to do? So I really am going to try to, that's why I'm working on upgrading my scattershot, my lumberjack, just because I want to try to get some other units that I can fall back on just in case. So as you see right now, the machine gunner is literally not letting anybody get out of the pad. Those, those fire chiefs over there just doing work. So since we saw a lot of action over here, let's go see what's going on in this final wave. Just wait for it just a second. Okay, let's look over here for a second, wait till it pops up. So as you can see, fire chiefs up front taking lots of damage and machine gunners just taking its time to warm up. And like I said over there, machine those mercenaries are just going to town. Like I said, they're very well upgraded and they're very good. So over here, let me show you what's going on over here. Lumberjacks, they are going to hopefully do something. They don't feel like doing anything, but when they get close, maybe they'll do something. There you go. Maybe. Well, the mission, the mission, the commando and mercenaries handled it. I mean, it's fine. I mean, if they want to chill back there, it's, it's cool. It's cool. So we got a better time bonus. I missed it. I don't really see. I didn't see it, but I'm sure it was not that good. It was decent. Yeah. 594 trophies. We are. <coughs> <coughs> it's winter. Cold season. Not fun. I don't like it. Uh, it's getting chilly. It's getting chilly. Buenos Aires. Let's get another attack in. And I think we're going to call it a day. But one more attack for sure. Got to finish that strong. Got to finish that strong. So, don't die on me, Argentina. And that's what it says on that postcard. These postcards are so cool. All of them for all the different cities. They're very well made. I love the little sayings on them. They're so funny. <laughs> I mean, I like them. I mean, pretty. they're punny. Punny. Puns. 
Puns galore. I like them. Oh, come on. What's it doing? Hurry up and create the map. I know you can do it. Let's check out this little tip. Use rally points to move your units to safety. It's a pro tip right there. Pro tip right there. I like the one where it says, um, what is it? Sloths are the cutest animal alive. Go sloths. <laughs> so it's still creating the map. And the runner is just chasing a brain. And the drone, I'm guessing, is using a fishing pole to lure him away to just help him work out. If you've seen the trailer, you know what that's happening right there. Still creating the map. This is the most intense gameplay I've seen in my life. You can load. You can do it. I think it's because I'm in a room kind of far away from the Wi-Fi, but I like this room better. It's better. I like it. So, we're going to keep going. I'm going to keep on loading, and if it doesn't load in a few minutes, nah, I don't know. I'm going to give it like 20 more seconds, and I see the timer on my thing, so... 20 seconds and we are going to just end the episode because it doesn't want to load. That's what's happening. 10 more seconds. Oh, the anticipation is killing me. Oh my gosh. Well, we got a good look at the view, this loading screen, guys. It's not loading, guys. So I'm going to call it a day, guys. That's what's going to happen. Uh, yeah. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I do hope you enjoyed this little B.A. Guild Raid Buenos Aires. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, guys.